Hi friends, welcome back to the Civil Engineering Concepts YouTube channel. If you are visiting my channel for the first time and interested in civil engineering topics, then this is the right place. Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for instant updates from my channel. Today in this video, we will be seeing staircase, beam and slab details of 20 by 40 house. The plan of this house is given in the i button at the top and also in description of this video. So let's start from staircase. Now what you are seeing is the reinforcement details of the staircase. For stairs, 10 mm dia bar is used as main bar and 8 mm dia bar as distribution bar. And spacing of 6 inch center to center is provided for both distribution and main bar. Top extra bars are provided up to one third the length of the staircase flight. The size of riser and thread are 7 inch and 10 inch respectively. And this is landing slab. Here also 10 mm and 8 mm die bars are used as main and distribution bars and spacing at 6 inch center to center both ways. And this is landing support beam. For this beam, 3 numbers of 16 mm die bars are provided at top and 2 numbers of 12 mm die bars at bottom. Now coming to lintel and chajja, for lintel, 4 bars of 12 mm die bars are used, 2 at top and 2 at the bottom. And 8 mm die stirrups are used at 6 inch center to center. For chajja, 10 mm and 8 mm die bars are used, 10 mm as main bar and 8 mm as distribution bar, spacing at 6 inch center to center in both ways. So this is after placing concrete for lintel and chajja. After that brick masonry work is done, the height of brick masonry work is 2 feet 5 inch for this building. Here we have left space to provide ventilator for bedroom 1 so that bedroom 1 gets enough light and air from adjacent room. This is the brick masonry work done up to slab level now. After curing brick masonry work, centering is done. For centering, steel props are used as support. Steel props has load carrying capacity greater than wooden props and also fast and secure mounting. After complete centering and shuttering, bar bending work is done for beam and slab. Now we will see the beam details. Now what you are seeing is a cantilever beam. And this is other cantilever beam. For cantilever beam, 6 bars are used. 4 bars of 12 mm dia, 2 bars at top and 2 at bottom. And 2 numbers of 16 mm dia bar as curtailment bar at top, since to resist negative bending moment. And for all other beams, 4 bars of 12 mm die bars are used, 2 at top and 2 at bottom. 
Coming to curtailment bar details, at top, column mm dia bars are used up to L by 3 from column support and at bottom, column mm dia bars are used leaving L by 8 on either sides of the column. For beams, 8 mm dia bars are used as stirrups spacing at 7 inch center to center. And now what you are seeing is the cantilever projection of the slab which is 3 feet from beam. Coming to slab reinforcement details, as the size of the plot is 20 by 40 feet, so the ratio of LY by LX is 2, so the slab is designed as one-way slab. 10 mm die bars are used as main bar and 8 mm as distribution bar. Main bars are spaced at 6 inch center to center and distribution bar at 7 inch center to center. Main bars will be provided parallel to shorter span and distribution along longer span. Alternate crank bars are provided at L by 4 distance and cranking is done at 45 degree. In this case, horizontal bars are main bar and vertical bars are distribution bar. After completing bar bending work, electrician will install pipes for wiring purpose in future. For staircase, 15 mm clear cover is provided and the thickness of waist slab for staircase is 5 inch thick and clear cover of 20 mm is provided for slab and 25 mm that is 1 inch for beam all around For mass concreting work, mechanical mixers are used and now what you are seeing is tilting type of mixer. Minimum M20 grade concrete must be used for RCC work. And after mixing of concrete, concrete is poured on slab and beams.
and it is well compacted so that no air voids are present in it. Normally needle vibrators are used for compaction but here damping is done to compact concrete. So this is the video taken after casting of slab. And curing of concrete is done for 28 days. The best method used for curing concrete slab is by ponding. 